Hi everyone, this is Connie, and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, I'm so glad you're here. Please think about hitting that subscribe button, as well as give me a big old thumbs up, and leave a comment, and yes, and hit that notification bell. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. And we'll get to more of the information on this challenge in just a moment. So let's get right into this. This is a Dollar Tree Little House. First of all, the name of this challenge is Inspiration or Recreation Inspiration. See one, do one, teach one. And we'll get to more of that information in a minute. But I wanted to show you. I've got this little house from the Dollar Tree. It is a chalkboard, but I am painting the chalkboard white, and I'm painting the border black. Now, the whole premise of this challenge is that we're uplifting um, other female crafters, and we are supporting. So it's women supporting women. So this is why I have chose three of her projects that I am have been inspired by. They're not exact, but they're kind of close. So this is one of um, the lady that I have chose to do is Lisa from Dollar Mom. And she has been a great help to me um, when I was starting out my channel. And so I just wanted to give a little bit of a a push or not a pushback but just some inspiration and I just wanted to give her some love so I put two coats of black and white paint on this and then we'll get to the embellishments So once all that paint is dry, I took some cardstock and um, the little picture from the back of the Dollar Tree calendar from last year, um, the farmhouse one. And so I am just making a frame with the gray cardstock and then the little one. And I'm just going to use my jot glue stick and I'm just going to... Uh, glue those together and then glue it right into that house. Once I got it there, I realized I forgot to put the wood slat look for like the shiplap. And so I'm just using a little piece of the cardstock and using my Sharpie and I am putting them in even though it's the little pictures already there. And then I'm going to grab my, oh, and the paint that I used before was chalk paint, folk art chalk paint. In um, the white is Adirondack and the black is just black and now I'm using a stipple brush and I am dry erasing or not dry erasing I am dry brushing the black onto that so it looks like wood and now I'm taking Dollar Tree uh, little ribbon in the white and black buffalo check and I'm just making a little shoestring bow and then I'm going to stick it right on the top of the uh, house and we're going to call this finished other than I do use four tumbling towers on the back and kind of give it a little bit of more stability so that it won't fall over. Okay, so this is Recreation Inspiration, See One, Do One, Make One. This is a challenge that I started last year that it was called Here's Your Crown, Women Supporting Women. Now it has changed into the names, a little bit of different focus. My 
co-host is Amanda from Six Kids and the Glue Gun. And this is a reoccurring challenge every month. So if you're interested in being part of it, let us know. So let's get right back into the projects. Okay, this is the second project. I took my Cricut and cut out this bird from the cardstock. And I've got this quilted uh, material. And I'm just using my Sharpie and drawing around this bird. Um, the inspiration was not colored like this, red. It was t something totally different. So I have to cover this. So I'm cutting it out, and then I'm going to grab a burlap ribbon, and I'm, that's what's going to go over the top of this. And I'm just getting that all done, and I glue um, with my hot glue gun, my sure bonder, all the way around except for the very bottom. I leave a little opening because we're going to put a dowel in there. So here I am putting, folding the burlap over to get two double sides and I'm just going to um, I draw around the one and I cut it glue it on then I glue the other one on and trim around it it ends up being perfect so what we're going to be doing is putting this up on a little dowel in a flower pot going to be great and this was another one from Lisa um, um, from her channel that I found the pictures of and I'll show those in a moment what I did and what I was inspired by so here I am I'm getting this burlap all glued on sorry I'm a little out of uh, the screen my camera moved and I didn't realize it had moved so I am just getting this all on there and I'm putting the dowel in there and gluing it and here is the clay pot from the Dollar Tree and I am pa um, painting it nutmeg from um, Waverly and now I've got floral foam from the Dollar Tree and I'm just trimming it so that I can get it inside the pot and once it's in there then I'm going to stick the um, bird dowel with the dowel on it into it and then I'm going to be using uh, deer moss and gluing it on the over the top of the floral foam. And then you'll see what I end up doing. Now I'm going to take that same white and black buffalo check and I'm going to tie another little shoestring bow on the dowel using a little bit of hot glue to secure it. And then this project is finished. I hope you guys enjoy this one as well as the first one. Now this is the third one, third and last one. I took a wood round that I get in a pack of 12 from uh, Amazon and this uh, Grateful Pumpkin from the Dollar Tree. And what I'm doing is I used my pencil and I drew around it because I'm using the black chalk from uh, Folk Art and I'm going to go around the whole outside. The premise is when I glue these together, I want to use hot glue on the edges and 
wood glue on the center because wood glue, bare wood to bare wood with wood glue makes a much better bond. So that's why I did it. So once I get this finished, I actually do it and then um, when I go back, I realized that it was too perfect so I kind of painted a little bit more into the center, just a tiny bit, just so um, I wouldn't have any bare wood um, peeking through. All right, I'm going to set that aside. Now I'm grabbing Waverly's pumpkin and I'm painting the whole pumpkin with this and then I will move on to more of the embellishments. This was long and tedious with a little tiny brush getting around all those words, but it worked out. It ended up looking amazing, as you can see. Then what I'm going to grab is my maze from Waverly Chalk Paint, and I am painting the leaf. And then I'm going to grab my Waverly Hazelnut and my, uh, I think it's Milk Jug, and I'm going to paint the acorn, the darker on the top and then the lighter on the bottom. And then I'm going to grab my um, white Adirondack chalk paint from Full Cart, and I'm going to paint the word thankful, as well as I use a green, and it's from Waverly, and I cannot remember the, co the color. Absolutely cannot remember the color of that green. I think it was just uh, hunter green or something like that. So now that that is finished, this is when I realized that the, it's too perfect and a little bit of wood was showing. So I brought that wood, the paint in more, and now I'm using Dollar Tree wood glue and just spreading it around on that raw wood. And then I'm going to use a little bit of hot glue on the edges of the pumpkin. And then I'm just going to put it right down and it will be completely secured. Then I'm going to grab the green and white buffalo check ribbon from the Dollar Tree. Do the same sh um, shoe bow, um, yeah, the shoestring bow. And I'm trimming it and then I'm going to glue it right on there. And then I'm going to put a little loop on the back. And we're going to call this one finished. So I hope you guys enjoyed these. I hope you guys enjoyed these. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Give me a big old thumbs up. Notification bell. As well as look down at the description box. Down there will be um, my, well not my channel, Amanda's channel link. As well as the playlist. And remember to check out all of the other videos in the playlist. Because... These are some amazing creators, and I don't want you to miss it out. Now, don't forget to call somebody and tell them you love them, because it might be exactly what they need to hear today. You guys also have the most blessed day and week, and don't forget to be the Bible that somebody reads today. Bye.